in addition to bringing some starting experience and some you know significant playing experience which is always great to have in your senior class I think they're also hungry you know I think um, you know we had a a good season last year but they really haven't had that championship experience yet that they um, that they would like to have and that they've been working hard for and I think um, they're doing a great job of pushing their teammates and and motivating them to reach for that this season. Um, your junior class you got some talented all-stars there in Mia Morrison uh, out of Geneva High School and Natalia Baum, uh, who was a, a transfer from Connecticut College, um, talk about that junior class and, and their kind of growth into leaders on your program. I think you know. I think that class has been huge. Um, it, it really is was an important class for taking the step forward last year that we took, um, and they'll continue to be a strong part um, of our team's success. Um, not only um, is there talent, but there's talent at a variety of positions in that class. Um, and so they're a really well-rounded group, um, and I just think that they um, they bring that competitiveness and that desire to win a championship, um, and they, they play like that every day in practice. Um, and I really think that um, they're going to guide our team in, that, in taking the next step. Your sophomore class uh, is led by Emma Gallagher. Uh, she, she had the most... Uh, playing time, most mm -hmm. minutes, most starts among that class. Uh, talk about how they've progressed, though, from that those early seasons, early time on campus success. Now, are they continuing to develop and and grow their game? Yeah, and I'd say so. Emma and, and Annalise being our two sophomores, um, and what I would have said about them last year and even this year is they're um, they're really the heart and soul of our defense. Um, I think they both, we, we put them both on strong players last year and we really counted on them to play that role. Um, Annalise and, and more of a pressing role and a rebounding role. Um, Emma has had experience guarding some of the top players in the conference um, and she's done a, a nice job with it. So um, I think they've both taken a step forward this year and they've really created a more well-rounded game. Um, but we'll still count on them for those roles. Uh, and then, strange as it sounds, the class of 2021 is on <laughs> campus. Um, talk to us about the, the talent and, and, and experience you brought in in this first year class. Yeah, I'm excited about this class. Um, again, I, I think, you know, you never know how it's really going to work out with recruiting sometimes. And, and you always hope you can bring in those impact players in various positions. But that doesn't always happen. Um, but I think this year we're really fortunate to have a, a group of players, again, who um, kind of hit on every position. You know, we've brought in some talent in the, in the paint. We've brought in some talent um, around the arc, uh, a couple of really strong point guards. Um, so we have a nice balance in this class. Um, and they've really done a nice job of just stepping in and transitioning to the college game, which is always something that you're, you know, you wonder about um, and that you might be a little nervous about. But I think they've done a great job of just kind of stepping in. Um, and we had some big shoes to fill, a big senior class last year. But I think this class has really stepped right in and strong basketball IQ. Um, and I think they're ready to help us get that championship. You're, uh your schedule is not uh, an easy one. You've got a, a lot of challenging hurdles along the way. Obviously, the Liberty League is always tough, but uh, you've got some tough non-conference game schedule. Tell us about that. Yeah, I think year, year in and year out, we play a tough schedule um, before we get into Liberty League. I think it prepares us for the Liberty, Liberty League. Um, and, you know, I would rather have those challenging games early. I think that's where you can gain the most and you learn the most about your team. Um, and our, te our team's ready for the challenge. I know they're ready for the challenge. And, you know, I think um, it's going to be the best way to get us ready for um, conference. And then lastly, uh, you were picked, finished fifth in the Liberty League, middle of the group. Um, what's your feeling on that, that selection by your colleagues? Um, you know, I, th I think I understand it. I think, you know, I think we had a strong senior class. I think in Division Three, it's always hard to know what – where teams are in the off season, what happens in the off season, and who play, who they bring in, and um, you know, so I think it's it's always a tough tough call. I think to to really know 
what to expect from different teams. Um, so I understand it, but you know, and from a coaching perspective, you know, I think um, it's always a it's always a motivating tool for your team. Um, and I think it just teaches them too that, you know, you have to earn your respect. You know, you can't just walk into every season expecting to be thought of as at the top and you have to kind of earn that every year. Um, so from a coaching perspective, you know, I like it. You know, I, I, don't, I don't have a problem with it. And, um, and I look, we look forward to hopefully, um, you know, climbing that ladder.